Hi, today, actually yesterday, um, well, the well-respected person, one of the shamans that is living at the desert for many years now and uh, a developed person and himself, um, uh, well, I show him uh, the Switch Movement website and he told me like, it is nice, but it is intellectual. And normally, in normal uh, part of the world, and in, pe in the past, intellectual meant something good, like you're smart, you know, intellectualista, intellectual, like you're, you're reading the books and you're making your brain useful, you know. And these days, well, why, why do you think the shaman told me this, that the websites or the knowledge or the way I'm referring to things is intellectual? And what, what did he really meant by that? That is the question to you maybe, that you have two, three seconds to think about. What is the difference between uh, being the intellectual and maybe being heartful and spiritual? actually you know because what he told me it it wasn't a good message well it wasn't something bad but it was not it was not good at the same time so um, he was trying to tell me you are using too much logic part of the brain to express things that maybe cannot be expressed by uh, intellectual process of of thinking and then we go to the subject what is the intellectual man today and what does it mean to be spiritual or heartful you could say you could say spiritual and heartful could be metaphor could be synonym sorry synonymous could be the same heartful and spiritual versus and the other side intellectual that means also logical so you see with logic intellectual part of the brain we do a lot of decisions every day like what ketchup to choose in the market what is the best for us what apartment to lease what business to start and so on but uh, spiritual and uh, heartful way is something else is you know by the intellectual process you read a lot of books you get a lot of knowledge and it's all you know mumbling in your head and it's like a big washing room you know when it's all mixing all the time and you're trying to make the best decision out of it and then intellectual process is actually you know when you run a huge company you see like 300 500 people get fired because somebody through intellectual level of understanding says like no for the company it's good to cut those people and they have no jobs and the family have nothing to eat for example in the next three months you know nobody cares about it that's what i'm saying this is the intellectual process well you can use intellect in very good ways to create nice things residence for people who do not have it instead of building the walls so uh but but this is all logic part of the brain you see the logic that we already live in logic and today human to be more awakened to evolution to evolutionize into more awakening and enlightenment i believe he has to use some part of the logic and go with the things he cannot understand to let go control to let go some part of intellect like me like uh, sometimes with help meditation and other things some of my friends the people i know including shamans using substances to decrease the level of intellect and logic part of the brain and to go to part of the brain that actually use the fantasy imagination free will that you get to the core to the spirit you know so you start to see the difference between the intellect which is the logic part of the brain you know and it's always straight you know intellect is like somebody ask you can I borrow $500 from you and intellects will go like I have this much money and I can borrow it or not you know because then I will not have money and things like this and the other gut part of you or the core 
the core is always like just give it to him you know don't worry if you have it give it to him don't worry money will come well it doesn't say all of that but it just the good part of you the nature of you always says like give it you know unless you don't like person and it's like 10 times in a row in this month you know then maybe the voice says something else or the heart is not that open you know but normally when somebody asks me for help or for anything or even uh, borrowing the money well always my first response always always since the moment i was here on this planet was like give it to him and then the logic part of the brain is of course like oh i don't have it that much or i'm not sure if he's gonna give it back or i might need it or what if i start to give everything to everybody you know and then the logic part but yeah of course it's protecting us and it's the intellect might be good but i hope we use intellect for different things i'm, I'm trying to to see uh, in me how I use intellect in a good way but it's hard to find example <laughs> well for example I do some website or I try to show you some stuff or I'm try to make the title of an article less or more interesting that that it would be more understandable to other people so then I use my intellect in the right way I do simple logic comparison how other people will understand what I'm trying to say or what I'm trying to write so right now I'm trying to explain some thoughts of mine and I use intellect to uh, pass it in the best way that I actually can in English or some other language that is not even my primary language. So, so intellect is very useful and you can use it in a nice way to express yourself to uh, help other people as well. But, but usually intellect is so dry if it's not connected to the heart to the spirit it's so just dry that you just building the walls thinking how to make more money how to make more logic stuff how to make more sense for yourself that's what intellect is bringing us to so i'm not sure if uh one of my favorite shamans had that in mind but for sure some part of it that i said today that's what we he had in mind that well spirituality is something not said spirituality is something that you're not really using that you're used by the process like you don't control you lose control you lose something so spirituality is something else and i got the glimpse what he was trying to tell me we didn't discuss with details what he was saying but i got the idea so uh many things to say logic part of the brain versus spiritual or heart which is different brain in the body so Hey guys, um, so this is a simple comparison and how we use it in life and you can use both of course but we tend to be too much here or too much there we cannot connect yin and yang in the right way well some people do of course better some people a little bit worse I wish you to connect all those two and much more things in one person that you can be more perfect that you can be more happy that you just when you use those things in the right way the life is so more much simple and it's and it's just working you make the right decision everything so simple you know the money the health the love even relationship the decisions get simple so uh, I got to my home I gotta go <laughs> I got some people waiting for me take care this was Mike from the switch I see you later